I forwarded the mission update to the Citadel commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. I knew they'd come around. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, sir. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. You think a blockade's going to stop him? He's on Ilos looking for the Conduit right now. What are you doing about that? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers, and then only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon, the Conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The Conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until further notice you're grounded. Are you insane? After everything I've done, you still don't believe me? I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. How you holding up, Skipper? This isn't over yet. You're an optimist, Shepard. I guess we'll have to consider this part of humanity's learning experience. We'll figure it out. We have to. Can I count on you to be there? I know I'm not the easiest person in the world to get to know, so I'll do you a favor. Just this once. I want you to be happy. Whatever you need, I'll help. There. You made me say it. Boom goes my feminine mystique. I've had a hell of a time figuring you out. But I think I have. I want you to be happy, too. You better. Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Got a message from Captain Anderson. Are you spying on us, Joker? No, sir. Just knew you were on the ship and figured I'd pass the message on. The Captain said to meet him at Flux. 
That club down in the wards. Sounds important. You'd better go. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Sorry, Commander. The Normandy's locked down. Ambassador Udina gave the order. Coming up in a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. Hello, Commander. Show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Coming up in a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. Hello, Commander. 
Show me what I'll you open do. the rare stocks. Hello, Commander. Show me what you've I'll got. open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. The Earth-clad Spectre has returned to speak with me. Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth-clan. I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. Human delighted welcome it is good. So they finally did it. 
I knew one of your kind would make Spectre one day. I only hope you're better than the one they're sending you after. I'll do everything I can to stop Saren. Hmm. That's what worries me. Was there something you wanted? I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? What have you got? Information, mostly. Would you like to know about some points of interest nearby? Goodbye. So long, Commander. Have a pleasant day. Commander Shepard, I am Nasana Dantius. I'm glad you're here. I must talk to you about my sister Dahlia. She's been kidnapped by slavers. Dahlia's dead, Nasana, and I know she was blackmailing you. Hmm. And I was all set to try to manipulate you into hunting her down for me. But I guess that won't be necessary now, will it? You wanted your sister dead? If people found out my sister was a criminal, I'd be considered a security risk. They'd revoke my clearance, or place me on administrative leave until she was apprehended. I shall transfer a little something into your account as a token of my appreciation. I'm sure you'll find the amount satisfactory. You're a diplomat on her way up the ranks. It could be handy to have a Spectre who owes you a favor. You make a good point. Anyone can come up with credits. But I can give you authorization to purchase prototype Asari mods. I will get you added to our manufacturer's preferred client list. I think you'd be very interested in what they have available. Goodbye, Shepard. It has been a pleasure doing business with you. This place seems strange. I wish there were more humans around. Command. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased. right? Commander Shepard, it is an honor to speak with you. What's this demonstration about? 
I'm Charles Saraceno of the Terra Firma Party. With Armistice Day coming soon, we're making our voices heard by the alien appeasers on the Presidium. Can I count on your support in the next election? You're marking the end of the first contact war with a protest? As we have every year for the last 26 years. The war taught humanity a lesson that some would forget. If we don't stand up for ourselves, no one else will. I thought the lesson of the First Contact War was that there's other life in the galaxy, and they have opinions too. Perhaps so, Commander. But if aliens feel free to express their opinions at gunpoint, why shouldn't we? What happened at the mass relay was a misunderstanding. If you saw a child about to touch a gun, wouldn't you stop them? I'd pull them away, yes. I wouldn't shoot them dead. What are you running for? I'm seeking one of the five spacer seats in Parliament. They have certain Baroque conditions for a citizen to be able to vote for them. You have to spend more than six months a year in space, but you can't have stayed in any one settled system for more than a month. You do spend most of your time in space, Commander. I don't know Terra Firma's platform. What do you stand for? Our core value is that Earth must stand firm against alien influences, politically, culturally, and in the worst case, militarily. That is not unreasonable, but some of the things these people are saying sound a bit bigoted. Excuse me, I don't believe human politics are any of your business. What the Alliance does affects everyone around it. We live in this galaxy, Mr. Saraceno. We can't pretend that what we do affects no one else. No, of course not. My apologies. I only meant to point out that other species have no right to interfere in Alliance politics. Sorry. I believe we need to work peacefully with other races. We've heard that before in human history. Well-meaning naivete leads to declarations of peace in our time. We can't allow anything like Shanxi to happen again. I don't suppose I could convince you to issue a public statement of support for my candidacy. The support of the first human specter would be invaluable. The occupation of Shanxi couldn't happen again. We weren't even sure there were aliens to garrison against back then. It's still a powerful symbol, Commander. Shanxi is the only human territory ever occupied by an alien species. You have the right to your opinion, Mr. Saraceno. But with all due respect, I disagree with it. I understand. I'm glad you support the democratic process, at least. Thank you for your time, Commander. Remember Terra Firma on Election Day, because Terra Firma remembers you. Remember Shanxi! No blood for aliens! Yes, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Best place on this. 
Welcome back, Earth Clan. Will Show you... me what you've got. Most excellent. Yes, human. You need something, yes? Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Soldier, can I take a moment of your time? Yeah, what is it? Why were you tossed out of there? Dorian didn't have a clue what I was doing. He assumed I was cheating. I know, Dory. If he says you're cheating, you're cheating. I was just tipping the scales in my favor. Only as an experiment. It still sounds like cheating to me. To you, maybe. But this device is merely intended to simulate situations and record results. Recording losses is easy, of course. Nobody notices those. Why do you need to record these outcomes? Ah, now you're getting to the heart of it. I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the Quasar. I just need a few more recorded wins and I can complete the algorithms. Can you do that? Isn't that illegal? It's illegal to use my system, but I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. I just need a few more wins recorded. Does the device help me win? The device is set to emit a frequency that will slightly increase your odds. Nothing like my system eventually will, but enough to allow you to record your wins more quickly. I think I'll take my chances the old-fashioned way. Hmm. Suit yourself. Well, I have some calculations to do. Goodbye. Change your mind? You gonna help me record those wins? Can you do that? I just need a few more wins recorded. What's in this for me? Keep your winnings. That should be payment enough, I think. I'll help you out. Ah. I suppose I could let you try it. Here you go. When you've recorded enough wins, it'll let you know. Of course, if you get caught with the device, well, you saw what happened to me. Well, off you go. That data won't collect itself. That's not what I do. Heading out.
Don't often see someone getting as lucky as you. Hello again. Can I help you? Are you the owner? Owner? We've got some quasar stations, uh, if you're interested. I've got something you might be interested in. Let me see that. You got that from Shells, didn't you? I saw him using it earlier. Tossed him out on his ass for it, too. Uh, thanks for bringing this to me. Cheaters shouldn't prosper. I agree with you on that. Thanks again. Uh, take a few shots at the Quasar. On the house. I should be going. Enjoy your time here at Flux. So, did you record five wounds with the device yet? Actually, I gave your device to Doran. But that was years of work. What am I gonna do now? Maybe you should put your talents to better use. You're no help at all. This is absolutely the worst day of my life. What am I gonna do now? Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. What kind of situation are we talking about? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an Alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. I understand. It's important. So what do you need? Well, in order to do my best for humanity, I need the best resources on the market. There's a mental stimulant that increases alertness and cognitive function. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the med bay. What is this stimulant, exactly? Oh, I don't know the medical terms, but it increases mental capacity, short-term recall, that sort of thing. It helps me stay focused, and it keeps me sharp. Nothing gets by me when I'm on it. If you know the monthly limits, why did you go over them? The negotiations were supposed to be last week, but the Solarians stalled it, probably deliberately. If I don't get the stimulant, I'll be a wreck. My assistant will take over, and that would be a disaster. You should put some trust in your assistant. Didn't you train him? <sighs> My assistant wants to bend over backwards for the Citadel races. He wants to show them we're reasonable. No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. Why is this deal so important? The Solarians want to set up long-term trade agreements. There are billions of credits at stake. If I don't get the drug, my assistant will take over and mess up the whole deal. It would be a disaster. You should put some trust in your assistant. My assistant. No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. Keeler, you've got a problem. You need to get treatment. It might look that way from the outside, but this is just a one-time slip-up. All the top negotiators are on stimulants close to the legal limit. It's the way the game is played. I don't see all the top negotiators soliciting help to go over the legal limit, Keeler. Maybe you're right. I've been trying to keep humanity strong, and maybe I've pushed myself too hard. 
I'll tell you what, this will be the last time I use the stimulant. After this deal is finished, I'll get you. No trade negotiation is worth ruining your life for. Let it go and get help. You don't understand. Humanity needs me, and I need that stimulant. Without it, I'll... I... I don't know anymore. I get so tired when I run out of the stimulant. I, I just need one more boost. There's no shame in having a problem, but you have to get treatment. You're, you're right. Uh, I'll go tell my assistant. I shouldn't be working like this. I, I'll, I'll get help. I'm just sorry you came to this. Jenna came back looking for work. Thanks for getting her out of Cora's den. I was glad to help out. Yeah, everyone seems real happy to have her back. I sense that you are less than pleased with her return. I'm glad she's out of the den. I'd just forgotten what it was like to have her around. I haven't had a decent tip since she got back. I'm glad you came, sir. I heard what happened. They pulled me off the mission. Just like when they forced you to give up the Normandy. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. If we steal the Normandy, you're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. Stealing the Normandy is mutiny. What if the crew won't help me? The Normandy's your ship now, Commander. Her crew will follow you to the ends of the galaxy. We both know that. I won't forget this, Captain. I promise. I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That's a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. You're gonna get yourself killed. There has to be another way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He will not just stand by while you use his computer. Hopefully he won't be here. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. The Ambassador will not forgive this, Captain. You will be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. You'll have a better chance if you go after the Ambassador's computer. I was hoping you'd say that. The Ambassador has made this personal. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? I still have some things to take care of. Come see me when you're ready to do this. I'll be right here waiting for you.
I got business here, but not with you. Not now. Watch the show. Go away. Let me, let me drink in peace. <laughs> You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. Good to see you, Commander. Hello, Commander. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in pro- Anderson? What are you doing here? I didn't send- <laughs> Get 
Get us out of here, Joker. Now. I can't believe we stole the Normandy. I know we'll all be court-martialed if this doesn't work out, but part of me loves this. Aw, oh, damn it! No sign of pursuit? I was hoping the Council would send some ships after us. I was looking forward to putting the Normandy through her paces. Figured I'd get to see what this ship can really do. Saren's still out there. Maybe we'll get a chance to play hide-and-seek with Sovereign. You know, it doesn't seem like much fun when you say it, Commander. So you need something? I have to go. All right, see ya. Strange, being a fugitive from the Alliance. This crew has sacrificed everything for you, Shepard. Don't let us down. This will all be over soon, Shepard. One way or another. This will all be over soon, Shepard. I can't believe we stole the Normandy. After everything you told me, um, it seems a bit extreme, don't you think? Stealing the Normandy is a trivial risk compared to the threat of Saren. Yeah, I suppose you're right. If you're wrong, we'll pay for it. But if you're right and we did nothing, I think we'd regret it a whole lot more. I just hope we can catch Saren before they realize we're missing. We'll catch him. Just be ready when we do. Yes, Commander. Stealing an Alliance ship? Risky stuff. I hope you know what you're doing, Shepard. You think I'm crazy, don't you? Sometimes crazy is the best way to go. I just hope they don't catch us before we get our hands on Saren. You and me both. I just hate to get stopped now. So long, Rex. Shepard. Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? We've got a heart. I think the odds are against us. That's what pisses me off. We'll talk later, will you? Looking forward to it, Skipper. Heard we're headed into the Terminus systems, Commander. Don't worry, sir. The Normandy's a hell of a ship. She'll get us through this. We're fugitives on the run. Very exciting, Shepard. I wonder what the Council would do to us if we got caught. The Normandy's the best ship in the fleet. They'll never catch us. I hope you're right. I should go. See you later.
Good, Shepard. Mayday! 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 This is Lieutenant Marie Durand, 314th Infantry, Alliance 10th Frontier Division. The listening post has been overrun by unidentified hostile lifeforms. Request immediate extraction. According to this, they received a supply ship just two days ago. The Rachni must have attacked since then. Tell me about that supply ship. This planet is supposed to be uninhabited. The Rachni didn't come from nowhere. One moment. These things are drones, dispatched at irregular intervals from different depots to reduce the likelihood of tracking. I have it. This one came from Argos Row. Wherever it is, there's probably more Rachni there. Let's get to the bottom of this. Yes, Commander.
go, go! First Lieutenant Duran, sir. 3rd Brigade, 14th Infantry Regiment, and I am damn glad to see you. We heard you needed some backup. Actually, we need to get the hell out of here. But I guess your ship couldn't carry us all. They dropped us here a few months back. We get supplies every couple weeks. We didn't see anything local that was more dangerous than Lycan. Yesterday, these animals started coming out of the ground. No idea where they're from. This is what's left out of 90 men. I'm the ranking officer. We do have a ship in orbit. We could bombard them. Wouldn't do much good. They're moving around deep underground. The only time they come near the surface, and they're right on our position. You bombard them. You take us out, too. Why are you out here in the first place? There's been a lot of pirate activity in this cluster. We set up a chain of listening posts in the local systems, in case they have a staging base. They're called Rachni. You get a supply ship in recently? Yeah, but that was an Alliance ship, Commander. I mean, it was a drone, running on automatics. But what... We don't have time to explain. Are you secure here? What we just fought was a probe. Our seismic sensors are picking up a crapload more on their way up from underground. We've got five minutes, tops. We might be able to hold them off if we were at peak, but you can see the fighting's busted this place up. Do what you can to secure your position. We'll see if we can get some of your defenses operational. Aye, aye, Commander. You heard the man. Everybody pool magazines and grenades. Take a leak and a drink while you can. And if anyone wants a smoke, it's as good a time as any. Time left, Commander. You must die! I wish you were a tank brigade.
about a near-run thing. You all right? Never mind me. Are you all right? Still on my feet. But we've been fighting for almost 26 hours straight. None of us will be standing for long. Ma'am, we're getting a signal from one of the ground scan UAVs. A big hollow space about 500 meters under the surface. Right. That must be it. That must be where they're coming from. My people aren't in any condition for a clearing operation, though. Just point us in the right direction. You don't have to do that, Commander. We've bled them. We can probably hold until a bigger ship arrives to get us off-world. If you want to take a throw at it, we'll give you the coordinates. But it's your call. You saved our asses, Commander. Thanks.
Negative contacts. Targets down. Good to go.
You're a hell of a soldier. That's it, right? We can leave? There ain't any pirates here anyway. Personal data recorder for Major Elena Flores. Play the first entry. Sigma-23 is almost fully operational. The barracks and storage lockers are complete and we've begun stocking the munitions. It's highly unlikely the Alliance will patrol in the nebula. I expect our only risk will be from pirates, and who will believe them? Looks like we'll have space for two reinforced platoons of Cerberus commandos. 
Cerberus may be a bigger threat than we'd assumed. Play the second entry. The package arrived today for field testing. I'm told they're fundamentally similar to the units being developed on Novaria. They promised this batch would be stable. Something about them developing in proximity to the Master Control Unit. We detected some pirates setting up an anchorage in a neighboring system. I think we'll try deploying them there first. Play the last entry. They've escaped containment. Clever bastards. We treated them like animals. We should have treated them like POWs. They're spreading. Boarding the supply ships and sending them to random destinations. They'll be all over the cluster in a week. General, if you recover this message, my advice is, screw the Rachni. They're too smart. Use one of the other projects. Flores, signing off. For the final time. A Rachni experiment gone awry. Again. Let's go. Personal data recorder for Major Elena Flores. Play the first entry. Sigma Cerberus may have We detected some pirates setting up a Davis there's a Arachni experiment gone.
Never a dull moment with you, Shepard. I found this armor. Does it belong to you? Let me see. Damn. This is it. Hard to believe my ancestors wore this piece of crap. But at least it's back where it belongs. Thanks, Shepard. I might be starting to like you after all. You're getting soft on me, Rex. Huh. Just because I like you doesn't 